mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is the pathophysiology. Etiology it is caused by rheumatic diseases, male, female, more than male, by 6 is to 1. Mitral leaflet, large anterior, is contiguous to aorta. The smaller posterior is contiguous to the left atrial endocardium. Normal area is 4 to 5 centimeters. Fundamental problem is inability to get the blood from the left atrium to left ventricle. The stenotic process is scarring and fibrosis of the leaflet and cordy tendony, commissural fusion, and it leads to funnel shaped orifice and pressure gradient across the valve. So, here uh, it's a diagrammatic representation of the mitral stenosis, and there is increased pressure and increased volume of the LA. So the consequence of mitral stenosis is increased left atrial pressure, left atrial enlargement, blood stasis may lead to atrial thrombus formation and embolism, development of the atrial fibrillation. Consequence of the increased pulmonary vein pressure leads to pulmonary artery hypertension, then RV hypertrophy and dilation. Measuring the severity of the valve area, severe is less than 1 cm, moderate 1 to 4 cm, and mild is 1.5 cm square. Symptoms unusual until the area is less than 1.5 cm, but during the unusual follows exercise or tachycardia, for which the left atrial filling time and dyspnea may occur. Symptoms progresses and valve narrow. History, there is a long course before the symptoms of uh, symptom onset. Symptoms worsens with the onset of the atrial fibrillation, typically asymptomatic, then dyspnea with marked effort and then minimal effort, then orthopnea and proxismal nocturnal dyspnea. Fatigue is common, patient cannot augment cardiac output, hemoptysis, embolic stroke usually when the patient is in atrial fibrillation. Physical exam palpation may be parasternal lift in the RV. Auscultation accentuated first heart sound opening snap. Sudden stop in the reflet opening. And uh, diastolic rumble. Higher left atrial P1. And shorter S2 to opening snap interval. Diastolic rumble, low frequency murmur occurs after opening snap, decrease endocontour, and pulmonary hypertension increase P2 component of S2. This is the uh, representation of the murmur. Diagnostic testing, test radiography, chest radiography, electrocardiography, echocardiography, and cardiac catheterization. Chest X-ray reflect the left atrial hypertension, double density, right cardiac border, convexity, LA appendage just below the left PA, four bump sign, aorta, pulmonary artery, left atrial appendage, and left ventricle. Elevated left main bronchus and curly lines. Echocardiography is, uh, is important and 2, 2D images show increased LA size, doming of the valve leaflet, valve stenosis, and valve area can be planimetered. Cardiac catheterization is not required to establish diagnosis in young patient. Echo is sufficient. Cath may be needed if symptoms disproportionate to the objective evidence. Other forms of the heart disease suspected, such as coronary artery disease, mitral regurgitation of uncertain degree. Differential diagnosis include atrial myxoma, core triatrum, and congenital mitral stenosis. Medical management, secondary prevention for penicillin, rate control for atrial fibrillation, beta blockade, digoxin, 
anticoagulation, diuretics, and rate control for congestion. Mechanical relief, closed surgical commissurotomy, open surgical commissurotomy, valve replacement, and balloon mitral commissurotomy.